Hey everybody, we have a question from one of our hypnosis students and it is about driving anxiety. So this fellow has two clients, pretty stubborn, hasn't seen any improvement in their driving, but interestingly, both clients only have anxiety when driving, or at least that's what it seems to be. So what are some ideas that we can throw at, the, at this to maybe cause that driving anxiety to budge? Well, let's look at this for a number, a number of different ways. First of all, I would put the person in a deep trance and either work with idiomotor signals or check for an initial sensitizing event that may be out of conscious awareness, the platform that mm -hmm. provid, permitted this anxiety to form. When you clear that, the anxiety would disappear. Another aspect of this is some people who are Enneagram type six who live in anxiety and uncertainty, you can never get rid of their anxiety completely. That feels like a dangerous place because their anxiety is protecting them. You take that away, now they're scared that they don't have the anxiety. I mean, uh -huh. it is literally hardwired in. You can ameliorate it, make it somewhat better. You can mollify it. Listen to the amazing words I'm using here. You can do things to make it better, but you will not get rid of it in those cases. On the other hand, sometimes if you use the tapping regimen, my six-step tapping here, 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 and here, if you do that while they are feeling the anxiety, mm -hmm. you can take it down to zero, in which case it may never come back again. But to hit the ego state that is suffering, you must do it while they're actually feeling it, even if they're not in the car, if they just bring back that sensation. I want to say one quick thing about the uh -oh. six-step tapping, because I, in reading YouTube comments, sometimes people go, oh, he called it my six-step tapping. You have so many times thrown credit where credit yeah, is due, and you always do, so I'll give you a chance to oh, mention sure. that. Six-step tapping, where does that come from? Well, first of all, I'm trained in, in EFT. I've done Sylvia Hartman's you know, energy EFT and positive EFT. I trained with Dr. Larry Nims in Be Set Free Fast. I've done Touch and Breathe. I've done all these different ones, and the one I started liking a lot was Robert Smith's Faster EFT, because it's quick, it hits all the main points, it works most of the time. I met Robert Smith, I did some graphology for him in Las Vegas, but what I did was I always credit him, I took his Faster EFT, I think I've improved it, because I've added one other tapping spot, the top of the head, which is the crown chakra, not something I know anything about, but I do know in Chinese medicine, that point is the one for alleviating anxiety. Mm -hmm. And so many fears and problems have anxiety underlying them, including what if the tapping doesn't work? We do that one first. It only takes a few seconds. So my sixth step dispenses with all the really complex, you know, tapping, rolling your eyes, singing happy birthday, the same as Robert Smith did, but it adds one extra spot that takes two or three seconds longer, and I find it works phenomenally well. So yes, I'm crediting him. Right. Yeah. To Robert Smith. All right, awesome. Yeah, we love Robert Smith. It's an awesome guy. It was great to meet him in Vegas. Yes, let's uh, let's continue on then. So driving anxiety. Uh, I actually worked with a client in this town once, and you know what I did after we were done the work? I got her to go in her car, roll down her window so I right. could talk to her from the outside, and actually oh, test this. the work. Yeah. So if you can, when it makes sense, put the person in their vehicle elicit the problem, get the suds, subjective units of distress, up as high as you can still get them. If, you've, if you're doing this before the session, I suppose, there's no implication that there's been any change yet. That's fine. Right. But if you're doing it as like testing your work after the session, again, see how high can you push that. Six step tapping right then and there. You can also do, not necessarily in the car, but you can use stuff like the rehearsal technique, right? Because that is a good thing to overcome anxiety. So Future you can events, have yeah. them in trance imagine getting in their car, actually you want to do it backwards first, so whatever the order of events would be, simply have them in trance, imagine going through the whole process backwards. From, they, from when they were they, safe again. They're safe, they're out of their car, they just had the journey, it was relaxing, it, it went smoother than expected and backing up in increments. We teach this in the Mike Mandel Hypnosis yes, Academy. Once you get back to the beginning, you're bookending the event with like 15 minutes before they're about to get in their car. Now you've you, you take them through that hypnotic journey in the forward direction, and then you bring them back and, of course, give them all the direct suggestions that they're going to be very comfortable driving. All the maintaining of ecology, right? You will still be a vigilant driver. You will pay attention to hazards and all that good stuff. That can be Yeah, you don't want to drive like the yeah. Grand Tour. So testing it in the car itself, useful. And the rehearsal technique, very useful. What else did you want to mention? Anything That's else? That's pretty well it. I mean, right. You can throw any of the standard techniques like ADAC mm -hmm. at it, where you're, you're basically re-anchoring them. Yeah. There's all sorts of things you can do. Like that. Give it a shot. All right. If you want to learn more about hypnosis, check out MikeMandelaHypnosis.com. You can join the Mike Mandel Hypnosis Academy. It's awesome. And you get to hang out with us. So thanks again. And good night. Good night. All right.